Good morning, everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. Today we are going to see the interview questions asked at Accenture. So the profile was of Automation QA and let's have a look at the Accenture Automation QA interview questions. So what is HashMap and how it works? So basically in this, you have to explain them about the principle of hashing. So we have got put and get key method for storing and retrieving objects. So put is for storing and get is for retrieving the objects from hash map. So when we pass the key and value object to put method on a Java hash map, so hash map implementation calls hash code method. Okay, so this all principle you have to explain when they ask you the interview question that is related to the hash map and the important point to mention is that hash map in the Java stores both key and value object as a map. Okay, so entry is in a bucket which is essential to understand the retrieving logic. So this kind of uh, principle they can this kind of you know concept they can ask. Similarly, they can also ask about hash table and then they can ask about what is the difference between hash map and hash table. What in all commands you are using in git. So uh, you can tell about all the commands like one is the uh, git push origin delete branch name. So it will delete the remote branch then git checkout. So it is for creating a new branch and switching to it. Then git checkout b branch name origin branch name. So the you can tell about the command that you are using for cloning a particular branch and switching to it. Okay. And then you can all also tell about a particular command that is used only for switching to a branch. Which version control you are using? So uh, this again is a generic question. So it depends on the organization to organization. You might be using Git. You might be using Bitbucket. Someone might be using TFS. So you need to tell them and explain it. Explain your framework. So whichever automation framework you are using. And what is your contribution in that Selenium framework? That is, you know, important thing that you have to explain them. So you can tell them about the page object model, for example, or data driven framework, or we are using hybrid framework or keyword driven framework. And then you have to tell about your uh, contribution. Let's say if you have developed some library to get some logic of date and time, for example, or let's say you have created one particular page that uh, is being used by, uh, you know, across the team for multiple purposes or you have been uh, your knowledge you have utilized your knowledge in creating some library or some kind of logic some class some method that was very useful during the regression testing so these kind of points you can tell now how to iterate array list using for loop this is one question same question they can also ask you how to iterate array list using iterator so for some people they have asked uh, you know to to tell them the logic using for loop and for some they have asked using iterator. So if you are using a for loop. So over here I have given a very you know high level program. So it is yes uh, the Java is a programming language. So you can write you can create any class with a name and then public static void main. So you would be uh, initializing this array list over here from one to eight and then you will be using for loop. Okay for iterating array list while in case of iterator you will be initializing the array list and then you can use this iterator okay so in iterator you can again use while loop and so on and so forth and you can get the output now they they can also ask you uh, you know tell us uh, different ways to iterate array list so you can tell them both so they'll come to know that you have got a good knowledge or they can ask you that i want this answer to be from the iterator perspective or I need it from the for loop perspective. So it depends on interview to interview. What is no such element exception? Now no such element exception is uh, you know uh, many of us would have faced in Selenium when we are doing automation when it, it, it is generated when the element that you are attempting to find is not in the dome. Okay now this can happen for two times for two conditions. The first is because the element itself does not exist. And it would never ever exist on that page. You are aware about the behavior. You are aware about the, you know, all the objects of on that page. So you can uh, to fix this. You can change your find element to be correct. The second is that you need to do something on the page to make the element appear. Let's say if you have to click on some button and then it would come over there. 
so this is more you know this this they had asked first as a generic question as an information thing like whether you are aware about the such kind of exception or not and then they can ask you how will you uh, cope up with uh, the you know how will you uh, make the changes in your automation to make sure it works properly okay so thank you for watching so these are uh, you know few of the automation qa interview questions asked at accenture and this is part one of the video uh, we will be very soon releasing with the part two but uh, if you and and this is from a verified source okay and if you have faced you know any other questions while you were being interviewed at accenture or if you have given the interview in any of the company then please share the questions with us it would be helpful to the community thank you for watching stay tuned for more videos